We are fielding a candidate in every one of the 105 wards and we also have 105 candidates on our PR list uh, that we are submitting tomorrow to the IEC. Uh, the candidates have passed a rigorous selection process which tested both their aptitude for public office as well as their commitment to the DA's vision of an open opportunity society for all. Um, our mayoral candidate, Brandon Topham, who is seated next to me, uh, who is also our regional chairperson, uh, heads the PR list at number one as our mayoral candidate. Um, and he's a qualified attorney, chartered accountant and fraud examiner and has served in various leadership positions in non-governmental business as well as voluntary organizations um, in, our, in our region but also in the country. Uh, his skills and experience we believe will make him the best person to turn around the Chuani Metro and to achieve, achieve success equal to that of the DA in Cape Town. Um, and we, we aim to bring about a financially stable municipality with professional officials qualified to deliver top quality services to our residents and this is a message that you will hear throughout our campaign. Uh, Brandon will lead a diverse team of political veterans and newcomers whose expertise will enable a city government to fight crime, achieve job creation uh, through growth um, and build infrastructure that we need for service delivery as well as maintain that infrastructure. I think you will notice something very different about our campaign this year. It will be a very positive campaign, one focus on what we will do in 56 days from now when we take control of the city. We're not fighting this election as an opposition party, we're fighting this as a governing party which can actually win this, this election and will take control of the metro and, and govern it for the next five years. So that's the most important thing which I'd like you to take note of. This is not an opposition uh, election campaign, this will be a winning election campaign, one based on the fact that we intend to win it and when we win it we will show the people once and for all that the DA governs better than the, the other parties in the country. We believe that we will win at least 75 PR seats and um, obviously a number of wards which will give us the majority without a coalition. However, we're not against the, the, um, the possibility that a coalition might be necessary to be formed and we will work with any party that shares our ideals for open opportunity society. Well, there's a lot of dissatisfaction in all ANC areas, regardless be it in Kungwini or Nuken. But um, in this, in the Mitsuding area, it's a clear example of why the people are, for lack of a better word, hurtful for the ANC. It's because their wishes are ignored. The, ANC, the local ANC structures, the local voters, like the DA are against incorporation of Metsuring into Tswani because we believe in local representation and government should be as close to the people as possible. So um, we expect those unhappy ANC voters to either stay away or to join, our, uh, join us in this. Um, I think we're going to try and highlight our successes in government so far because we've got a few clear examples across the country that are well known in certain parts of the country, but I don't believe they're well known in, in the metro of Tawani. Uh, for instance, we'll highlight the, the numerous successes in the western province, the successes in the eastern uh, Cape, which is in Bafion's municipality, and of course here in Gauteng, uh, the successes in Mertville. That combined with our policies, which we believe are superior to those of, of the ANC when it comes to actually governing uh, a city. There's going to be a strong focus when we take control on creating an employment creating environment because local government has an important role to play like all government does in the macro economy of, of a society. Let me then highlight to you some of the, the maybe the top three issues which we believe are facing our, our metro in this election. Obviously um, employment creating environment. Secondly is crime. No matter where you live in the city there is a, a huge crime problem and also that also chases business away, so they go hand in hand. And the third is obviously infrastructure investment and maintenance, so that um, the residents can get the services which they demand and I have a constitutional right to. And then we've put it all together in one, one topic which we would call a clean, effective and efficient government. Now we get your bill on time, get a plan approved on time, whatever the process is, 
you know, that's what people expect from their government and that's what you want to give to them. That's why we've got a diverse team of experience, people that are politicians, people that are business people, people that are lawyers, people that are, you know, a really diverse team because that's the end of the, uh, the end of the day, your, your councils are your non-executive directors for the, the business of our city.